Dietrich Friedrich Edward, Casimir von Sorkin, was born on May 16, 1892, in Fischhausen, East Prussia, now Primorsk, in the Kaliningrad Oblast of Russia. As a child, he attended the Collegium Friedrichenum, a prestigious gymnasium in Konigsberg, in present-day Kaliningrad, where he graduated with his university preparatory high school diploma in 1910. As a student, Sorkin showed, potential as an artist, a talent supported by his mother and the director of the Friedrichenum, Georg Lent. He often visited Niden, which is present-day Nida, in Lithuania, where his ambitions to become an artist were influenced by the consular colony Niden, an expressionist artist's colony. Following graduation, Sorkin joined the Prussian army on October 1, 1910, as a cadet in their Grenadier Regiment, Konig Friedrich Wilhelm I. This was one of the oldest Prussian regiments, and he was promoted to second lieutenant on June 19, 1912. After the start of World War I, and was deployed on the Eastern Front, with the division, Sorkin fought in the battles of Schlubern, Gumbinen, and Tannenberg, earning the Iron Cross second class in October 1914. Sorkin then fought in the Battle of Verdun and in the Battles of the Carpathian Mountains in September 1917, and received the Iron Cross First Class in May 1916. For combat in the German Spring and Hundred Days offensives on the Western Front, he received the Prussian Knight's Cross of the Royal House Order of Hohenzollern with swords and the Austrian Military Merit Cross. In 1918, he also served with their Baltic Sea Division under the command of General Rudiger von der Goltz. After the First World War he joined the paramilitary right-wing Freikorps. In 1921, he joined the Reichswehr. In 1927, Sorkin was on a special assignment in the Soviet Union, where he learned to speak Russian, and in 1934 was promoted to major and posted as an instructor to the War School Hanover and was promoted to Colonel on June 1, 1939. Through the early stages of World War II, Sorkin took part in the Battle of France, the Balkan Campaign, and Operation Barbarous as commander of a motorized brigade of the 4th Panzer Division. He was appointed divisional commander during the Battle of Moscow, and was promoted to General Major on New Year's Day 1942. On January 6, 1942, he was awarded the Knight's Cross of the Iron Cross, and was appointed Commandant of the School for Mobile Troops. On April 1, 1943, he was promoted to General Lieutenant, in June that year, he returned to the 4th Panzer Division, which he commanded during the Battle of Usk. Sorkin became acting commander of the 3rd Panzer Corps in June of 1944. He was also awarded both the Knight's Cross of the Iron Cross with, Oak Leaves and the Knight's Cross of the Iron Cross with oak leaves and swords the same year. In June and July, Sorkin formed Kampfgruppe von Sorkin, part of Battlegroup von Sorkin, which was an ad hoc unit composed of the remnants of several units that had been destroyed by Soviet Operation Bagration against the Army Group Center. The Sorkin Battlegroup mainly consisted of elements of the 5th Panzer Division. 170th Infantry Division and the 505th Heavy Panzer Battalion, the battle group was later designated the 39th Panzer Corps. During the Red Army's Minsk Offensive, Kampfgruppe von Sorkin temporarily maintained an escape route across the Berezina River for retreating German troops. Sorkin left the 39th Panzer Corps in late September 1944, when he took command of their Forming Panzer Corps Gross Deutschland, the incomplete corps was divided when half of it was ordered eastward to stop the Vistuloder offensive. Sorkin led the corps until February 1945, when he was removed from his position and placed in the Führer Reserve by Heinz Guderian, the chief of staff of the army. In March, Sorkin commanded the Second Army in Prussia, and provided logistical support during the evacuation of East Prussia. On May 8, 1945, the last day of World War II in Europe, Sorkin received notice that he had been awarded the Knight's Cross with oak leaves, swords, and diamonds, this made him the last of 27 officers to receive this award. Though an plane was standing by to evacuate him, 
he refused to leave his troops when they surrendered to the Red Army on May 9, 1945. After surrendering on the Hell Peninsula in Poland, Sorkin became a prisoner of war, and was reckoned to be Soviet Union. Initially he was imprisoned in the Lubyanka prison in Moscow, and then Oyol prison before being transferred to a prison camp in Tayshet, in the Soviet Far East in 1949. He was released from Soviet captivity in 1955, and he moved to Pulak near Munich, in West, Germany. He died in Pulak on September 27, 1980, at the age of 88.